What's up Facebook? Today we are installing the TFI module into my buddy Robert's distributor because it turned out the module was bad. When I pulled it out to uh, inspect it, I wanted to make sure that this thing was making good contact and as you can see here, the pins were definitely making a solid contact with the PIP sensor, so there is no reason to suspect there was a contact issue. The module just simply failed. Here's the old module. It's a genuine motorcraft. You can tell by the way these things are raised up. It's not very new. It's uh, I don't know if it's the original one because they were even bigger letters. This is probably a Ford replacement one from a decade or two ago. And uh, here's the new Ford one. This is kind of interesting. Looks suspiciously like a cheap China module, but that is the genuine Ford uh, module. Come out of some Ford dealer in New York. Here's the part number for the module. This module replaced all of the uh, automatic and five-speed modules that used to have different part numbers. Now it's all just one module. Majority of content made in USA. And we'll see. So uh, here's the tricks. The first thing is clean up your distributor so it's not a greasy mess. That's no fun. And see this uh, surface here? The surface where the module mounts, the microsurface of this is kind of important. It's supposed to be like super flat. And from the factory, it's anything but super flat. It's got like a lot of machining grooves in it. So I don't uh, need perfection there, but I always take a sanding block and sand that smooth. So here it is, my sanding block. Just a typical body shop sanding block with some fine wet sandpaper. And uh, I always sand that surface really smooth and clean out the holes good so that everything makes a good contact. And then I inspect the pins. Um, one concern we had the other day was because we could move this module and make it change the way it ran, Maybe the pins are stretched out or something. So I took a hard look, and they're not. They look fine. And uh, judging by the marks on the old module, you can see the teeth marks where the pins really bit in. So there's no way this thing was not making contact. It's good to go. The next trick is always a new distributor O-ring. You really can't get them from Ford anymore, so you're down to Felpro 5511s. Every time I touch one of these O-rings that goes right here on the distributor shaft, they break apart whenever you touch them with a screwdriver. You're not going to get the old one off, and you really don't want to reuse it because they leak oil up and all over the intake manifold. So always a new O-ring, and I usually lube them up with something, either a little bit of uh, Vaseline or um, even WD-40, just something to keep it from ripping when you stuff it in the hole. Now, here's the other trick. Um, this is... This is the way that the module paste was put on by the last guy. Two blobs that got spread not very evenly. And what happens is this stuff, uh, there's a huge amount of heat that transfers from the module into the TFI distributor body. So this is actually a heat sink for the module. Uh, and the module is... Um, super ridiculously hot. This is where all the transistors are that fire the coil and this is where all the heat's going to be is wherever the transistors are. So if you don't want this thing to die a premature death, you need to do a better job than this. I suspect that's half the reason why these modules fail. The other half is they tried to heat sink it to something that's part of the engine. Ford, what were you thinking? So Ford actually had a lot of trouble with that. The modules would fail because they would overheat. The car would stall. People would get in a wreck. They sued Ford, mostly one, I think. And after about 93, you don't see Ford bolting the module to the distributor anymore. It's always now remotely, uh, remotely mounted to a uh, heat sink, an aluminum heat sink that's usually in the passenger fender area somewhere. So uh, you won't see this design after about 1993. I guess Ford didn't want to get sued anymore. The last trick here is, uh, well, before I do that, let me show you this. This is the TFI module wrench. If you're unfamiliar with that, when you go to take and get into this module to take these tiny little bolts out, uh, the only way you're going to sneak in there is with a really thin shaft 
tool and this module wrench tool is made just for that and it's also got some half inch wrench flats on it here so that you can actually put some leverage on uh, the tool so that you can turn it because you can't turn it by hand hard enough to get it to pop the module bolts loose unless they've been recently loosened up so that little ten dollar tool is worth its weight in gold and then I take this stuff and spread it evenly using a uh, like an old bondo spreader or a, a whatever some kind of plastic spreader and uh, clean everything really good before you do I always clean the surface here and the surface here with brake clean and I usually give the entire distributor a, a cleaning too to make sure that a bunch of junk doesn't fall back in the motor when I'm done but uh, I take and spread the module grease really thin very very thin and very evenly as best as I can and this is what we're using Arctic Silver 5 this is a high performance uh, thermal transfer paste that is made uh, for computers like your home computer so you take and you mount on your home computer you mount the PC chip to the motherboard and this stuff goes between the two and acts as a thermal transfer paste this paste is not an insulator it is a heat conductor and it's designed to very efficiently flow the heat out of the module and into the body of the distributor where it goes so that is a really important part of it and this does not get it done so that's part of why the modules go bad prematurely we take and uh, spread this stuff as thin as we can because if it's thick it doesn't work right and then we make this surface as flat as we can by wet sanding it or dry sanding it with a sanding block and super fine paper and that's it man after that you just uh, ever so carefully take it and plug it back in sorry guys I can't do that on camera anyway I'm gonna do that with two hands before I screw that up so uh, I think that's it for this video just wanted to show you guys the uh, the Arctic Silver 5 trick that is a high performance way of sucking heat out of the module and dissipating it off into the uh, distributor and uh, show you the process see you guys